Hello everyone, today I'm testing my new Nikon 18-70 to zoom lens. In fact, I'm recording now on the wide angle 18 on my Micro Four Thirds uh, Panasonic. So the focal length multiplied by 2, then multiplied by the uh, speed booster 0.71. So the focal length equivalent to a full frame will be around 25 mm so it's quite wide angle currently i don't have any wide angle except my kit lens which is quite dark and also it has no separation from the background so the picture or the video looks quite flat more like you are recording on a phone and after i bought my speed booster veltrox for Nikon mount, you can watch the video up here. I bought it for 70 US dollars, but it is uh, without any electronic connection. So it can be connected to a vintage lens, uh, so manual focus only. However, I cannot find any wide angle vintage lenses. Uh, they are very rare. Also, Micro Four Thirds mounts for wide angle are quite expensive. Even the Chinese uh, brands uh, manual lens like Lawa is quite expensive, 400 or 500 US dollars. So I found this Nikon 18 to 70 zoom lens. It was quite cheap, 28 US dollar only, since it had a faulty autofocus mechanism, which is very useful for me since I cannot use autofocus on this speed booster. Uh, so it was a chance, so I bought it. Now I'm testing it. I'll be comparing now with the kit lens. So this is now my kit lens, which is equivalent to 24 mm full frame. So see the difference. Uh, the background is uh, not blurred. Uh, it's quite on focus. So it's more like I'm recording on a phone. So this is the 18 to 70, which is equivalent to 25 to 100 full frame with the speed booster. Uh, you can find uh, another options, cheap ones, uh, such as the kit lens uh, for Nikon DX, which is 18 to 55. However, that one is slower than this one. Also, the build quality is not as good. Uh, it has plastic mount. One advantage for Nikon lenses is this manual control of the aperture. So even in full automatic lenses, you can control the aperture without the aperture ring. This Viltrox speed booster that I have has a built-in aperture that connects to this manual control. So you can control the aperture from this ring. Now this is connected to my Panasonic Lumix. This combination, the zoom lens and the speed booster, is less than 100 US dollar. Now this is a picture I took with the Nikon at manual mode, fixed shutter speed and ISO 400. Now we compare it to the Panasonic kit lens which is equivalent to 24 millimeter at same shutter speed and ISO 400. It's quite dark, it's not comparable. Now we increase the ISO to 800 by one stop of light. It's still not comparable to the Nikon. So this next one is the kit lens with two additional stops of light. So the ISO is 1600. It is now comparable to the Nikon picture, maybe slightly brighter. So this is mind boggling. The speed booster is supposed to increase the light by one stop of light. So from 3.5, it go down to 2.6, while the kit lens is 3.5. However, we can see here, the difference is more than one stop of light. I guess that the kit lens is quite poor and not allowing much light in. So it's not actually 3.5, probably is more. So if you find this video useful, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.